What's up everyone, Mike here from The Art of Guitar. We have another standing lesson today. Uh, this is one on the three-quarter thumb position. And for some of you guys who don't realize uh, what I'm talking about, uh, you know, when you first learn how to shred, or at least when I did, you're taught to take your thumb and place it in the very back and the middle of the neck, just like this. Also, if you learn classical guitar, your teacher's gonna teach you this as well. Um, but if you get into more blues type music, blues rock or whatever, you're going to see all the best guys, Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, all those Jimmies, they're going to have the thumb over the top like this instead. So it might be a little bit confusing when you're used to doing this and then you look at all your idols and they're doing this. The advantages to each one are as follows. Like when I have my thumb over the top, I really feel like I'm able to do my bends really well. So I'm able to do stuff like... <laughs> That's because when you bend, it's nice to have your thumb over the top to have something to sort of push against as you're bending. So it's like you're kind of closing your fingers in like that, like you're squeezing a little bit. Even though I don't recommend squeezing, but it feels like you have something on the opposite side helping you with the opposite side of the bend, okay? If you don't have that, let's say you take your thumb and you place it right in the back of the middle like I was talking about. We'll call that the shred hand position, the half position. If you try to do bends like that, it's a little strange feeling because you're going to be pushing the string up and bending, but you're not going to feel that opposite leverage helping you out. So you could still bend, obviously, but it's a little strange feeling. I got used to that feeling, but I still didn't like it. And some people ask, well, why do people put their thumb in the back, say in the half position? Well, if you're really into shred type licks and you do a lot of legato patterns or a lot of fast pull-offs, having the thumb back here is actually a good thing because it gives you a different kind of hand position that allows you to do really fast legato runs if you play like Satriani or Steve I or anything like that. So you can even try it out if you're doing some crazy hammer runs or pull-offs. If your thumb is back here, you have this really free feeling with your fingers. If you bring your thumb over the top and try to do that, you feel really weak because now your fingers only have so much uh, distance from the neck. So it's kind of a strange feeling to try to do legato with your thumb over the top. So the thumb at the half position is perfect for fast runs and shredding. The thumb over the top is good for bending and blues, okay? I had to find a better placement for my thumb because I realized that I did both. I like to do faster runs and I like to do bends. So I didn't want my thumb to constantly be shifting like that. So I thought, well, let's try something in the middle here. And I ended up calling this three quarter position for the thumb. And that's anywhere between the halfway point and the very top of the guitar, okay? So as long as your thumb is not wrapped over the top and it's not way back here, you're in three quarter position in my opinion, okay? So the thumb will sit like right here. Sometimes it looks like it's going over, but it's not. It's laying right on the top or it's down a little bit. So putting those two ideas together, I started to be able to play more difficult passages that may have had some legato in it, but also the bends were coming out with just as much strength as if I put my thumb over the top. And uh, you'll see when you stand up and play, especially if you hold your guitar low, this three quarter position is going to uh, do good things for you. Okay, so I ask you to do whatever your favorite solo is and use all three positions. And you're gonna see, I'm just gonna borrow this from uh, the Black Crows, uh, their cover of Hard to Handle, the solo is pretty sweet. But if I have my thumb over the top, watch what happens. See, all that stuff at the end felt fine, but this stuff felt a little bit like I was handcuffing myself. My fingers just felt like they were in quicksand. But if my thumb is back here, the initial bend might feel weird. So I even overbent, I'm not used to it. But all that stuff feels great. I feel like I have lightning fast fingers. So my answer to that three quarter position takes care of that problem. It bridges the gap between the two worlds. So keep an eye on my thumb now from both angles. I'll just uh, shoot this in two angles. And I'll play the same solo. Watch how my thumb stays relatively in this three quarter position. Pause right there because some of you guys might be like, your thumb is over, but watch this. Look at from the front. It's sitting on top right here. It's not doing this, okay? It's a big difference. Sitting on top, over the top. Okay, so let's keep it here, the top three quarter position and finish it up here.
so I had plenty of strength when I did that last bend, uh, just as much as I would have if I wrapped my thumb over the top. Here's another problem. If you're playing on a Les Paul, for example, and you're way up high in the higher frets, you're not going to be able to put your thumb over the top. And if you put your thumb way in the back, that's just going to be strange, right? So that three-quarter position actually remains as you reach up to the higher frets, because the Les Paul does have some issues uh, as far as reaching the higher frets that my SG or my Jackson do not have. So that three-quarter position will get you ready for that problem as well. It's really cool. So go ahead and give that three-quarter thumb position a try with your leads and uh, see if it helps you, especially when you're standing and playing, okay? All right, let me know how it goes. Thanks.